Hi, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at straight line graphs. So this is the first video in a playlist of two. The first bit, we're going to be looking at gradient. Then the second bit, we're going to be looking at y equals mx plus c. So please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions, compare your solutions. Uh, if you get any problems, always add a comment. I'll come back to you. Look forward to seeing you inside the video. Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at straight line graphs. This is the first half of the worksheet that you can download from 3minutemaths.co.uk. There are some notes here, but we're going to move straight on to the gradient of this particular line, which is the first question. Basically, we're looking at the difference in y divided by the difference in x. So the easiest way is to draw yourself a little right angle triangle here. And hopefully you can see here the difference in the y coordinate is the difference between 3 and and 1 which is 2 and the difference in the x coordinates the difference between 1 and 2 which is 1 so therefore on this particular um, graph the gradient is going to be equal to positive 2. Now just be careful because sometimes the gradients are negative gradients and we will be doing that in a minute or two. Okay so let's move on then to question number two. Please do stop the video, have a go at this particular question. It's very very similar in the way that we do it in that all we need to do is just create ourselves a little triangle, right angle triangle Okay, there it is. And the difference in the y coordinates, the difference between 5 and 2, which is going to be 3. Difference in the x coordinates is going to be 1. So therefore, the gradient, which is the difference in y, divided by the difference in x is 3 over 1, which equals 3. And that's the answer to question number 2. Okay, let's have a look at question number 3, which is a negative gradient. Now, I'm going to do this slightly differently in the approach. In other words, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my triangle um, effectively upside down because what that does is it tells me the difference in the y coordinates the difference between 4 and 1 which is actually minus 3 and then the difference in the x coordinates is the difference between minus 1 and 0 which is 1 there's a difference of 1 okay so therefore the gradient is going to be the difference in y, which is minus 3, divided by the difference in x, which is 1, so therefore the gradient is minus 3, and that would be the answer to that particular question. Okay, so we're going to do a similar thing with question number 4. Um, it might, as I mentioned, be useful to stop the video, have a go at this particular question for yourself, and all you're looking for is really a... Um, an ability to draw a triangle. Now what you'll notice with each of these that I'm looking to make my life fairly easy so I'm actually going to draw triangles where I can take from the the coordinates it's not halfway through that would be just a little bit more difficult to do so in this particular case i'm going to go from one to minus three which is a drop of minus four and then from minus one to zero which is a drop of one okay so therefore the gradient is going to be equal to minus 4, which is the difference in y, divided by 1, which is the difference in x, so the gradient is minus 4. And that's the answer to that particular question. Okay, so let's have a look at number 5. Now you'll notice it's a slightly shallower uh, gradient. It's not as steep as the other one, so it's slightly shallower. But nevertheless, we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to find a place in order to create a right angle triangle here. And I'm going to say the difference in y is going to be 2 and the difference in x is going to be 4. So therefore, the gradient is going to be equal to 2 over 4, and I can reduce that to 1 half, or if you prefer a decimal, 0.5. It doesn't really matter whichever way you do those things. Okay, now there are, in this particular video, um, nine questions. There's another final graph question, which is this particular one here. A um, little bit more challenging, but it nah, should be okay for you, because again, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the right hand uh, right angle triangle, but we're going to make it just a little bit easier to use the coordinates. So the difference in um, y is going to be the difference between 2 and 0, which is going to be minus 2. Difference in x is going to be between 0 and 4, which is positive 4. So therefore, the gradient is going to equal 
um, minus 2 divided by 4, which is minus 1 half, or again, if you prefer, minus 0 0.5, and that would be absolutely fine for that particular question. Okay, so in terms of having these questions with graphs, it's really just a case of drawing triangles and reading directly from the graph. But sometimes you're going to get questions where you've actually got coordinates, so it does actually give you the coordinates. So I'm going to do a slightly different way of doing things, which is more more in keeping with the way in which these sorts of questions are taught. So therefore it's a formula and the gradient is going to be equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now it's no different really to what we've been doing with the graphs, it's the difference in y divided by the difference in x. But in this particular case what I'm saying is that here we've got the y2 coordinate or value here we've got the y1, here we've got the x2, and here we've got the x1. So therefore, I can just feed those numbers directly into my equation. So I'm going to get 7, take away 1, divided by 4, take away 2. Well, that's going to give me 6 over 2. So therefore, the gradient between those two coordinates is going to be a value of 3. And pretty much that's it. What we do is apply the same formula for all of these questions. So therefore, now just as a point here, I would always try to encourage you, and I have done on other videos, is to get into the habit of writing the equation, the formula again. Because if you do that, it does help you to remember it each time. Now in this particular case, I've got y2 and y1, 6 minus four and then at the bottom I've got x2 and x1. Now be very careful here because we've got a negative sign there so that's going to be one minus, remember it's minus, but this time it's minus three. Now be careful there because two negatives together make a positive. So the denominator is going to be equal to four and the numerator is going to be equal to two. So therefore it's going to equal one half. Okay, so just be very careful where we get two negatives together. All right, so let's look then at the final question on this particular video where we're going to look at, um, again, two coordinates and if you'll notice here, this is going to be equation a straight line of gradient three. So it actually gives us the gradient and we're going to do that in the next video. So please do follow on from this video. But in the meantime, have a go at this one. We've got gradient equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And again, I would encourage you to always write the um, equate of the uh, formula. Okay, and also I'm going to put y2 and y1 here. Now the reason being is I've got a lot of negatives floating around. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to carry on and say, well, that's minus 9 minus minus 1. There's minus 1 and minus 9. So minus 9 minus minus 1. And at the uh, denominator, I've got minus 3 minus 1. So this is x2 and this is x1. Okay, so we need to just sort that one out now. Just a little bit trickier. So we've got two negatives together make a positive. So it's going to be actually minus 9 plus 1 is going to be minus 8. And then we've got minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. Now, a minus divided by a minus. Remember that this means minus 8 divided by minus 4. So minus divided by minus is a positive. So that's going to be a gradient of 2. OK, so slightly tricky one to end this particular video on, but I hope it has been useful to you. Please do add a comment below. If you're not sure about anything, I'll always come back to you. And I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.